Welcome back once again. It's Jeffrey Howell's Carpet Cleaning and we have ourselves another rug that we're going to be cleaning up today. Um, we've got this beautiful uh, bright orange 100% polyester rug that we're going to be cleaning up. And we are going to commence with uh, phase one. Phase one of the process is also known as dusting, area rug terms. And that's what this red, this beautiful red machine is here. This is known as a rug badger. And um, you can look at the octagonal shape of it. It's got this drum inside that spins. And it's got these straps that will spin and slap this area rug. Um, the area rug actually gets flipped over so it's face side down. So we are slapping the back side of the carpeting causing a lot of vibration and agitation just to shake out as much debris as we can and it slips through the little holes in this grid system we have down on the floor here so it does a good job of shaking that all out and then secondly we flip it back over and we run our Kirby vacuum cleaner over it to get as much of that debris out of there that might be lingering still yet um, the Kirby vacuum cleaner, we adjust the height for maximum airflow in vacuum so we get as much debris picked up out of the rug as possible. So that is phase one, the dusting phase. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video and if you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please be sure to leave them in the comment space below and I will address those to the best of my, my ability. You have a great day. Okay, so moving on to phase two, what we're going to be doing is taking our pre-spray, which we've made up specifically for this area rug, and we are going to generously apply it to the rug here. Moving on to phase three. Uh, phase three occurs after we've done the application of the pre-spray and what it consists of is at mechanical agitation. This device here is called a cylindrical brush machine or CRB for short is what we call them in the industry. Um, basically what you've got here are these two counter rotating brushes here. You can see one in the front and one in the back there. And what they're, they're gonna be doing is that this is a very soft, gentle brush, and they gently uplift on the piling of the rug. Um, I always have to qualify the rug that I'm cleaning, whether or not it's gonna be suitable for this sort of agitation or not. When you're dealing with cotton fibers, you gotta be careful because you could be loosening the hairs of the, the cotton rug. So we are very careful to make sure that we uh, identify everything that we are doing properly and so what we're going to be doing is taking that cleaning solution and agitating it deep into the carpet fibers here on the rug and additionally what it does if there's any other hair or things like that that are stuck in the carpet it, this will loosen them up and pull those things out of the carpet as well All right, we've completed phase three, and out of curiosity, for those who are wondering what kind of debris this stuff comes up or pulls out of, this is the kind of nasty hair and lint and that sort of nasty stuff that you pretty much get out of any any rug, any carpeting, any anything that you can run this machine over. It's going to be lifting that kind of nasty stuff up and out of your your rugs. Um, and then again, when you're dealing with like off-white carpeting and that sort of stuff, when you 
pull all this invisible stuff out of the carpet, it'll actually make the carpeting look more vibrant and reflect light much better. And it's stuff that collects over time and you don't even notice that it's there. A lot of times you can't even smell it, you can't see it, you can't detect it, your vacuum cleaner is not picking it up. And then with this particular machine here, it's very unique. It does a great job at lifting this stuff out of the carpeting and it's always a, a bit of a surprise. Um, I've used it enough that it's not really so surprising to me anymore, but it always is to the, uh, the customer. They're like, oh, I didn't know all that was in my carpet. And yeah, it is, it gets there. So this is one reason why um, if you're dealing with respiratory issues or something like that, you really should have the carpets clean like every you know, 10 or 12 months, regardless of what the carpet actually looks like. Um, it's pulling this stuff out so that you're not breathing it in. And of course, all that other dust and bacteria and dander and all that stuff that settles in there as well. We have approached the fourth and final phase of our rug cleaning process, and that includes the truck mounted steam cleaning. So that's what we're going to do now. You can hear the, the air hose going right now. We got things uh, heated up to about 200 degrees. When you're dealing with rugs, generally you want to be around the 180 to 200 degrees. Um, when you're dealing with polyester, it's a little bit more forgiving. You can go a little bit hotter on it, but you do want to be careful that if you do go that hot and you're cleaning the backing of the carpet that um, you bring it back down because you don't want to be loosening up the, the uh, glues that are back there or loosening and weakening fibers and things like that. Because um, generally the, the, the tag that is on the rug tells you what the carpet is made of but it, a lot of times it doesn't really go into a real deep description as to what the backing is. Some rugs do, some rugs don't. Especially the threads, you never know if they're using cotton threads or nylon threads or who knows. You know, some of them, of your exotic rugs will be using, you know, something jute or some completely different product that you just want to be real careful when you're doing your cleaning process. drying fans on to expedite the drying process that pretty much includes our uh, cleaning today I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you have any thoughts questions or comments please leave them in the space below and I will answer them to the best of my ability have a great evening God bless and I'll catch you guys in the next video